Hello, so I wanted to do a review. I did an unboxing video um, that was released and the Kickstarter was re uh, was launched today. So I recently received Quirky, the innovator kit from Stempedia. And I wanna cover basically what Quirky is like and what I do like about Quirky and maybe just a few minor points that could be improved upon. So Quirky is a AI robotics kit. Um, and you would take this off. I went ahead and took it off before the video because it's easier to see with it off. And now the unboxing shows how everything looks. This is not what Quirky looks like when you first unbox Quirky um, because I've taken things out of the plastic and moved things around. So this is the USB-C charging cable, the universal charging cable. Um, you do get information on uh, redeeming um, your code for uh, Stempedia uh, online at learn.stempedia.com. And this is what Quirky looks like. Um, now mine is already assembled. Again, I'm gonna link to that unboxing video that I did earlier so you can see what Quirky looks like, you know, prior to me adding some components to him. Um, and then I'm going to open up the box because I do say, I will say that this is a nice box to, to keep him in. I'm keeping the wooden portion, um, the cardboard, just so that, uh, he doesn't move around. It's actually pretty good to keep him in place. Um, and this is a, like a lunch pail. It's similar to lunch pail. You've got some extra components. I did basically the, the most basic setup. He does have some cards and stuff like that. He has a, a I could have put this on him, but I wanted to be able to show what he looks like for the um, the screen, the LGB, the, sorry, RGB screen. Um, so I'm gonna show the getting started guide because move everything over here. Uh, he's already charged, so we'll put that over there, put everything back so that it's just quirky. And I should hopefully be able to get him to stand up. Uh, I've been able to get him to stand up before. And of course, I'm going to have a problem again getting him. No, oh, I got him standing. Okay. So the getting started guide, um, it's relatively straightforward. And it's going to be pretty easy for, you know, even very probably younger children to to, to use it and, and go through the steps. The only minor point that I would is that they they immediately have you go to the assembly instructions and although you can do this portion without him being assembled um it would be nice to have the assembly instructions at the beginning possibly uh there are more assembly instructions beyond what you need what you need for here because you can do like a phone assembly and um yeah he 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 could fall down so you could do a phone assembly, a vertical configuration, but I just chose assembly one. These two points were already done in my kit. So all I had to do was the battery in the back portion. Um, the only problem is uh, with the back portion because they're using wood and I had the uh, problem with nibble that's a piece broke for me with wood um, that I'm not a major fan of wood possibly. The, this kit, the wood was fine. Uh, snapping things on, but I just had a fear that I was going to break parts. It did seem to be, there were, didn't seem to be, there were actually extra parts for this in the kit. So my innovator kit is, you know, it, it's the basics, but there were extra parts had I possibly harmed one of the pieces. Um, and the other thing, you know, I would have liked to see them as metal or plastic pieces, maybe instead of wood, um, but also the battery it is, you know, not entirely uh, stationary. It is kind of moving around a little. So I would have liked to have seen, seen just something different in regards to the, the back portion of the kit. So there, this is assembly. Okay, he fell down again. All right. 
if I didn't have to use my both uh, one of my hands for the camera, I probably could get him standing a little better. So after you get the assembly portions and the battery connected, then he has a startup routine. Um, I'm gonna show that. Uh, you turn him on here with this button here, and he won't go through the startup routine because I've already done it. So I'm just gonna trigger it again by pushing this for I think it's five seconds. Okay. Hi, I am Corky. Hi. Let's play Catch the Fruits. Okay. Press L to move left. Press L to move left. Okay. Press L to move uh left. I'm not holding it long enough, sorry. And then that's where my cursor is. And I'm not fast enough to get some of these. And you gotta get five of them and then it moves to the next part. You can see here. Let's play some music. So these are the touch pins. Okay, so the next mi minor point is that these are not easy to push for an adult, and I'll, I'm an adult. Uh, children, it's probably gonna be okay. And then the next point is the that these parts here are covered slightly. So this is the easiest one to touch. The yes, I hear you. And they want five of them. So you can play music on it, but with, it's just relatively harder for me because I'm, you know, my hands are bigger than I believe most of the people using this product would be. I mean, I don't have big hands by any means, but I don't, I don't have children's hands. Okay, come on. Bring your hands behind the board. Okay, so that's the touch pins. Now we've got proximity sensors back here. There's two. They're th this and this. So that's both proximity sensors. All right. Let's connect with picto blocks and learn to code. Okay. So that's the basics of that. And I'm going to show you the PictoBlox app as well as the uh, lesson coding lessons. Before that, though, I want to show his components. So he has, he has a lot of components available. The proximity sensors we covered. You could see the 35 uh, RGB LED display where he can show colors, emotions, the power switch, the battery connector. Um, there's two servo ports, the speaker in the front, uh, generic input, output, the motor ports, those touch pins, which the placement of the touch pins, uh, I would like to see, you know, brought out beyond the screws or something. The tactile switches, which are the left and right tactile switches. Um, the charging port is, uh, opposite the battery, um, sw switch and and everything so the on off switch and the battery connector here is the the usb c uh, charging port so just basically there's a lot of components available they do also have a reset switch which is next to the charger the reset switch got something in my i don't know what that was anyway my nails are clean sorry about that there Okay, so there is short circuit protection, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, and then now we're going to show the picto blocks for this review. So if I can find it, there we go. I was actually on the right page. Now I'm okay. So picto blocks is the app 
which I've already downloaded. That's how you do the programming with Quarky. And then there's also the stempedia.com uh, project um, and their courses related. So first I'm gonna just gonna quickly show the course area. Um, my dashboard includes uh, the lesson plans. So this is the main lesson plan. I haven't completed it because they wanted some videos uploaded and I didn't get to that. Um, but they do have some basically, you know, some stuff here related to LED animations, having fun with expressions, um, coding with picto blocks and stuff like that. So I, I haven't completed it. I'll pro hopefully get a chance to do future lessons uh, with videos because I do, do like Quarky. Um, so that was the lesson plans online on, this is my tablet, Android tablet. Uh, Picto Blocks, the app is on uh, iPhone or Android um, versus uh, there is a coding environment. Uh, you can also do, sorry, is it Picto Blocks? Actually, I don't think Picto Blocks. I'll have to look it up for, Picto Blocks might not be on iOS. It might only do my tablet. I'll have to look it up again because I, I, I don't recall because one of the coding environments, you couldn't actually use your phone yet. You had to use a computer or your mobile phone. It had to be, had to be Android possibly. I might not have been an iOS one yet. I don't want to misinform you in regards to that. So we're going to do... Um, this one that I've already set up, basically you would normally do a plus sign. Um, so I've already done that. And this one is a Quirky project. So we're going to connect to Quirky. They do want him updated. So basically you've got some, you know, specific add-ons related to Quirky. And I thought that this, oh yeah, there we go. So it just beeped to let us know that he was connected. I'm gonna try to get him to stand up again because it looks nicer if he's standing up. Okay, come on, stand up, stand up, buddy. Okay, this doesn't wanna do it. Again, it was doing it fine earlier and you know, now that I'm doing the video, it doesn't want to stand up. It, it, it does, these two-wheeled, all these two-wheeled devices do have some kind of problems. So, you know, it is a balancing act to try to get anything that's two wheels um, properly uh, equal with equilibrium. Okay, I give up on that. So we're not gonna get to see him standing up nice for the, de for the demonstration. So uh, this is a very basic routine I've added. These are quirky specific extensions that are related to things that'll be on his board. He, um, so I've got it in uh, when the green plus sign is checked, you will, which is down at the bottom, he will start doing the code and it's in a forever block, and he's gonna be happy, and then he's gonna just show a cue. He does not quirky with green on his display. So I'm gonna press the, the, the green start, and he's gonna do it. So that's him being happy. So you get to see that animation, and then he shows a cue in green. So, all right. So overall, my thought process on Quirky with the lesson plans and everything uh, is that this is a pretty good deal for the Kickstarter price. I did go ahead and um, get the uh, get a kit myself uh, with an add-on. Uh, there's a Mars Rover add-on. Um, I didn't get that one. I'm not certain what add-on I got. I got one of the, the Mars Rover was a more expensive one. Um, but you can see here, if I think on this here, it shows, uh, you know, some, some of the various cool robots that you can get and some of the different ways that he can look. So besides the minor points of some things like the touch pins, 
Um, if I was, if I were going to do music, it would be relatively more difficult with Quirky. Um, and then the battery movement, which uh, I would, it, it, I'm probably going to find some kind of uh, sticky to attach it to where it, it won't move or move around like that. Um, with the, the secondary kit, I'm going to add some more wheels to Quirky so that he is a little more stable because I prefer a four wheeled, four wheeled um, device. Uh, I am going to also try to add my smartphone in the configuration and see what it looks like going around with the smartphone that be a future video. But review wise, he has a lot of capabilities. He's starts out basic you it's, it's going to be relatively simple for a younger child to see what Corky's capable of doing with the introductory routine just minor minor points of some improvements that hopefully would happen along the way maybe of changing to some metal add-ons um and the the instructions could have been flipped around a little bit better but he's I mean, I would say within an, less than 30 minutes, you can get going with Quirky and co coding with Quirky. And it's pretty simple. These lesson plans, um, these lesson plans are very, very uh, detailed with what you need to do in order to get um, various components um, functioning. So Picto Blocks, yeah, there's Mac OS, X, so you can get it on your computer, and for the app, um, it's on Google Play Store, but I don't recall, there's nothing in here saying about it being on the Apple Store. So yeah, there's not gonna be an, an Apple installer, but you can put it on your, your computer, um, Mac or Windows, and, and the, or your tablet, uh, Android tablet or Android phone. So you've got, you've got a lot of capabilities here there's also like quizzes that will quiz the knowledge. Um, I'm pretty certain teachers are going to be very happy with Quirky in a classroom and going to be able to teach not just older children, but even like younger children. This is going to be very straightforward for them to understand. And it's pretty, it's pretty impressive for the, the cost point, the price point that he comes at. Okay. Take care. Um, I hope you enjoy enjoy the review, and please let me know what you think about Quirky. Um, I'm interested to hear it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.